Sagan. See, we're cleaning the place up. This was an eviction, so the sheriff was here. I had to post it. We set it out on the curb. They said we have to leave it out there for at least 24 hours. I'm going to go ahead and leave it probably a couple more tomorrow, days just to let them out. I'm going to put a tarp over it and leave it there. But this is some of the stuff that you have to do. Again, this cost me two months' rent and filing an eviction. I'm at a $1,500 loss. And for this apartment and the one upstairs, I just took the whole year's profit. So one of the reasons why we have to keep the rent up at fair rental market is some of this stuff. Oh yeah, this stuff is awesome to clean. And actually we got lucky. I know it's a lot of cleaning, but I'm just kind of showing you guys what kind of stuff we have to deal with. But for damage, it's just a little little paint touch up, a lot of cleaning, and one little hole in the wall. But sometimes when you come in, you can have whole walls ripped out, toilet missing, sink gone. I mean, there's tons of stuff that you could potentially deal with. Broken windows, holes in the walls, even though this was already there. So we actually go through and know every all the damage before we go through but again this is just showing you kind of the stuff that you have to deal with as a landlord or a manager I'm going to give you guys tips on cleaning what I like to do is get some 409 and I just spray all over it and I come in with the brush and I just scrub it like that See how nasty it is. And then when you're done, sometimes it takes a little bit. If it dries, so just spray it with 409 again. Come back in and just take paper towels and you just clean it right off of there. And it usually cleans up pretty good. Normally, showers aren't left this bad, but tenants normally almost never clean their showers. So normally you have to come in. I just spray it with 409, usually you don't have to scrub as bad, and just wipe it down with paper towels, and it cleans it out pretty good. But yeah, I'm big on 409. I also spray the whole complete toilet down, even on the sides, cabinets, or countertops. I just spray 409 everywhere and just wipe it down really good. I even come in and spray the walls sometimes. You can see how dirty it is. I haven't wiped it yet, but I'll come back through and wipe it down, and I just spray 409 on it, and it normally gets everything off. 409 on here, you can see, comes right off. I really like this laminate stuff I've been going with and getting rid of carpet. Tenants do this kind of stuff and that would have ruined your carpet. And when you put $600, $700 worth of carpet in a room, it ruins it, you know, and good luck getting that out of your tenants. And here's some that we're already cleaning up. We just spray stuff and then we're just going to come back and mop it. It was pretty bad, but you can see that it's coming up. It's already in the water where we can just mop it now. Yeah, we just got done putting stuff out and there's already people driving by looking at the stuff, people walking by. We already noticed that there was a wind stream internet wireless thing here and someone's already ganked it and we're just now leaving so imagine how much stuff's going to be gone when we come back because there's people actually driving by and they're actually stopping in the street looking at it 
So if you're a tenant and you are evicted, you really need to come and pick up your stuff because they the stuff does not set out there that long. Just got back over here the next day and this is what it looks like. As I was saying, I knew people were gonna come and go through it and take what they wanted. And it looks like we got another mess to clean up. So they've taken quite a bit of stuff.